Morning y'all, so we're coming at you live with another vlog. And currently I'm just trying to get into my garage so I can get my hand sanitizer into my car. Ooh, peep the whip. Motherfucker, there we go. We got some black cherry merlot. And it's a beautiful morning. Haha, <laughs> we don't need gas. So we're right on time, baby. Today's gonna be the day. It's gonna be our best bins day ever. We're gonna get one bin fucking stacked to the top with tees, perfectly folded. It's gonna be wrestling tees, fucking basketball tees, band tees, and World War II shit. It's gonna be crazy. So we are finally back home and we're gonna break down everything we got. This is probably one of my best bins days ever, as I called earlier in the video. I actually said, Gonna be one of my best bin sites ever we manifested it every single bin is actually fucking fire so let's just get right into it we got a lot of stuff i think we spent like 60 70 bucks somewhere around there uh, but let's start off with this banger right here just a simple la dodgers snapback but if you look on the inside tag american needle uh it's got the embroidered logo not the patch so uh solds on this for 90 bucks there's one up for 75 i'll probably ask like 65 in this joint uh fire piece we got a pretty simple hard rock orlando uh strap back little 15 20 bucks here we got a pretty simple phillies plane logo sports specialties another plane logo arizona cardinal snap a camo gore-tex joint like an 80s 70s or 80s gore-tex always banging uh, for the money and this hat was insane look at the print all around i actually might rock this once i get it cleaned up this thing is so fire such a sleeper it's cat diesel power i had to put it in this bag because the foam is crumbling i didn't want to get all over everything else so and then we got this hat it's a blockbuster video look at this it's not even firm at all it's not like the bill's cracked it's just it's just floppy but i got it anyways it weighs nothing got these uh nike shorts for personal been me good tees we picked up this is near the end of the day all this bag was this is like the last couple um rotations we got an old 90s nautica it's like a mock neck single stitch joint super sick i love the stripes a little pocket hit got these dope made in usa levi's bleached you gotta love it pretty i think they're super sick yeah, made, made in USA, it's like they're 505s, I believe. So we got this dope CCM Anaheim Ducks J. Uh, the tag is gone, so I don't know what size it is. I'll have to compare it to some other listings, uh, but it's super sick. Got the little CCM hit at the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm super pumped. Fucking love Mighty Ducks. You gotta rip it with a hoodie over top. That'd be so fire. It's 90s Panama Jack volleyball joint. The colors are popping on this thing. And on the front, you got the pretty simple Panama Jack hit. Uh, yeah, made in USA size large. We got some pretty good 90s tees out of this last bin of the day. Habitat for Humanity on the Fruit of the Loom vest. Uh, what's pretty dope is the, the sleeve hit. It's got the Fruit of the Loom sleeve hit. Uh, yeah, blank back, but colors are so sick on this joint. It was also in the same bin, they were all by each other. Uh, 90s Polo Sport, like a Marlin. Super sick. You know, it's got a flaw in the back, got a rip, but come pass it up we got these uh vintage two horse levi's women's like overalls i think i've sold these for 70 to 80 bucks i found like two or three pairs before they sell really fast this pair is in awesome condition so uh that's good money right there right here we got this 90s uh north face gore-tex jacket this was assisted from a buddy at the bins huge shout out to him uh it's got the little north face hit here the only flaw that I can see right now is that it's got the rip. I think that's why he, that's why he passed it to me. He don't want to deal with the rip, but dude, this thing is so sexy. Can't go wrong with full North Face Gore-Tex. We got a modern Nike hoodie. It's got a neck rip, but I sell these like fucking butter, baby. They're so easy to sell now. Uh, easy 30 bucks. Moving on here, we got a pair of Carhartt flame resistant uh, denim pants. Easy 30 bucks for me all day. We got a pair of dope orange tab Levi cutoff shorts. I don't know if they're supposed to be like this, but super sick. Gotta love them. This one is like a heavy, it's a very heavy t-shirt. Nike Air Force One. I don't know, I like the Nike hit, it's very subtle. It's a new tee, very heavy, but uh, I just think it's a dope, dope tee to pick up. We got this Screen Stars, so 
Screen Stars best tag made in the USA. I thought this one was super sick. Hawaiian beach party, uh, sensational. Single stitch, dope little blank. Right next to it, it's on a Haynes Beefy, uh, Fieldmaster XL. I don't know, I just picked it up, it's dope. A Made in USA Woolrich, big ass Sherpa Line flannel jacket. Awesome condition, it's got the Sherpa Line Made in USA. And here we got a pair of Kappa sweatpants. It doesn't have the Kappa going all the way down. Just got the girls, uh, the girl logo right there. Pretty simple piece right there. So much shit in here. And it's like all decent stuff too. You double up on these varsity jackets. The brand is Golden Bear. I looked them up. These things are pretty good. They're made in California. Uh, this one's for myself. Got the personal. There was an XL and a large. I got this one for myself because I love varsity jackets. And then I got the size large to sell. Both legs. Here we got another Mighty Ducks joint. This one is going to be a Youth XL. It's a genuine stuff. It's like a Ducks puffer. Love the colors as usual. It's got the little sleeve pocket. This thing's gonna need wash, but uh, it should clean up very well. Got the big Mighty Ducks logo on the back. Super sick youth jacket, man. Cannot go wrong. These, these Nike pants are so sick. Uh, the classic gray tag right there. Silver tag, my bad. Uh, but you got the little Nike swoosh, the simple Nike hit at the bottom with the uh, with the zipper. But you never find these fleece pants. You always find the fleece hoodie. But these match the hoodies, and I had the hoodie to match this exact pair of pants. So I don't know. These are so sick, like literal fleece sweatpants. So I don't know. I couldn't find these on eBay. Might be rare. I don't know. Uh, here I believe this is a '70s Sears Fieldmaster. Uh, like a flannel shirt button up. We got a Patagonia fleece line jacket, super sick. Uh, size medium, really good condition. Nasty bootleg Nike hoodie. This thing is so wild. Look at the color blocking going on. Uh, it's got the sleeves, double sided, so sick. This, thing's, this thing is nasty. Bootleg does it better. Uh, we got another varsity jacket. So we got three varsity jacks today. This one is going to be an Illinois Fighting Illini. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Um, peep the back, big Illinois Fighting Illini hat. This thing's dirty, but someone will clean it up. Good dry clean, nasty jacket. A pair of simple Wrangler Pro Gear, uh, camel pants, newer tags, money makers. LL Bean fly fishing vest, I think it was. Said solid comps, doesn't weigh too much. Actually, a pretty dope fucking vest, if you ask me. 90s Nike, uh, made in USA white tag, sleeveless shirt. Clean this up, get 20 bucks out of it. We got a pair of Rock Revivals. Uh, these, man, if y'all sleeping on these, money makers. Awesome condition. Uh, I think these are called the Luckettes. They're pretty rare. There's only two sold comps, no active listings. Here we got a pair of Adidas Milwaukee Bucks. I think it's what it is. I don't fucking watch basketball. I think it's Milwaukee Bucks, though. Uh, peep that pretty simple pair. We got this banger 2000 Pokemon Pikachu. Uh, it's a youth Size 7 this thing is fucking crazy. The tie-dye is going nuts. Pikachu got to catch them all Look at that man Crazy piece here. We got this uh, from what I've asked around. It's like a 50s uh, 50s parka. I'm not sure if it's military or civilian jacket uh, yeah, it's got like the fur on the hood. It's like a pullover. It's not even a jacket, it's a pullover. I couldn't find any markings on it, so I don't know if it's military. And I had to do some more research, but this thing is so sick. Gotta love old, super old shit like that. And then the second to last thing we got, saving the best for last, we got this True Religion uh, pair of jeans, Joey's. Super clean, just like the Rock Revivals. Uh, if you find the right style of these jeans in good condition, and you know why they end up at the bins? A $30 price tag. Who's buying $30 jeans at the thrift? Not me. Uh, but they're gonna be buying fucking $50 pair of jeans off my eBay. Finally, for the last piece, which you've all been waiting for, is the fucking Travis Scott hoodie in the same colorway that he wore that made this shit go fucking crazy. Uh, it's like the olive, olive green tan tone. Uh, it's got the little simple swoosh there. It says double XL on the gray tag. Nasty, great size. This thing is sweet. 
I love finding these, especially, I've never found these in this colorway, uh, the same one that he wore. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this recap. This is probably one of my best Ben's hauls. Uh, that Travis Scott hoodie, the Pikachu tee, fucking crazy. We got a lot of good mid pieces as well. So there's stuff all across the board. I appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next video.